Bonjour, welcome to Bordeaux. I got in last night. Um, yesterday was definitely quite up in the air, but ended up deciding to come here. I had a nice rest of the evening in Paris. I um, had a dinner with my host on his little balcony, which was really cute, and I had breakfast there as well, which was really nice. It felt very like Parisian. I don't know if that's typical, but it seemed like it. Um, anyways, and then I was literally figuring out where I was going and what I was doing to stay, continue and decided to come here because I heard it was really pretty and it's along the way of where I want to be headed going south. So um, I actually came here by Blah Blah Car, which if you don't know, it's a, like a carpool um, app. And so I've looked into it a little bit so far in Europe, but haven't really found um, really many opportunities through it. And then anyways, it came up yesterday when I was looking on how to get here and it seemed like the best option and there are actually like lots of options to go here that way so found a ride with three other people and it ended up being really great obviously more comfortable than like you know bus train whatever um, anyway so that was really awesome I'm glad I got to try that apparently it's really big in France and Spain Italy I think too so I'll probably be using that some more for transportation and then um, anyways so we got in last night and then I went out with my couch surfing host around the city a bit, joined a couple of his friends um, for dinner. We actually got Korean food, but it was really good. And then he showed me around the city a little bit, which is pretty because a lot of things are lit up at night. So I'm not even gonna try to tell you the names of places because I literally have no idea. Um, I was just kind of like following around pretty much the whole time I've been here. But there's this really pretty building that um, gets lit up and then in front of it they have the floors almost like as if it was little fountains of water um, spraying out but during the day it's actually just mist and there's a really um, thin layer of water and people just walk through it to cool off and stuff so anyways it's a really beautiful view um, we walked around there's this main square that has this arc and um, it also has this statue of a turtle with grapes in its mouth and apparently there's a thing here um, where people try to have sex on the turtle and take pictures of it. It's like if you manage to do this and get away with it, you've uh, accomplished something. So that was interesting here. Um, and then we walked down the main pedestrian street with all the shops, which apparently is the longest one in Europe. So it's 1.8 kilometers, I was told today. And saw a couple of the big churches, when, walked inside one of them today, but um, I think you can go up the tower, at least one of them, maybe both of them. But anyways, so walked around a bit at night actually, and then did that some more earlier today. I'm trying to think of where else. We also went to a market that had a lot of fruit and produce, a lot of different foods. Um, we actually kind of walked through what he said was the poor side of town, but it didn't honestly like even really look that bad. But so this is a really nice city and I was told on the drive down that a lot of people from Paris are actually moving here and because of that the, the price of housing has gone up and so a lot of the poor people are getting pushed out and even the students are having trouble affording housing because every, the, everything is just going up in price. Um, anyway, so we walked around a bit more and um, also like a uh, behind me not too far there's the river that actually connects to the ocean so walked around the river a bit did that some more today and if you actually walk all the way down which is really far there's a wine museum at the very end so we went up to the top um, you can do a tour which anyways we didn't do that but it's a really tall cool looking building so at least got to go up to the top and check out the view um, and then also where I am now there's this like really big beautiful fountain I'll show you in a minute that um, like some of it's actually he was saying from Greek mythology if you look up close there's these horses that look like horses but they don't have hooves they're actually like almost kind of like fins because it was um, what's his name I forget the Greek god Poseidon um, Anyways, so these horses, they're actually like meant for the water, not land, or they do both. If you look at the rear end, they have like a tail. So anyways, um, have seen some different cool sculptures, again, like really amazing ones here as well, in addition to Paris. And then, um, I'm trying to think what else. 
As far as tomorrow goes, of course, I'm still planning a little bit more, but I was able to find a host um, actually in San Sebastian in Spain. So I'm planning on sticking along the coast and continuing as of now along the northwest coast um, through Spain, then go through all of Portugal and then actually planning on going to Morocco to extend my 90 days in the Schengen zone and then continue along the southeastern coast of Spain and back through France. So that's the current general plan. Uh, let me give you a quick view of what's around here. So you can see there's those two really big columns back that way. There's also a cruise boat, which seems like they come in here pretty often. And you might be able to hear the back, in the background there's music, which I was told there's a stage over there and every day they have like some music and things going on there, which is pretty cool. I might have to check it out. It sounds like salsa. Anyways. And then that is the beautiful sculpture fountain with the horses in Poseidon. There's actually one on the other side. Sun's about to set. Um, yeah, so that's mostly it for now. I'll fill you guys in at the next stop um, once I have some more info. But until then, I will talk to you soon. Bye.